there's a volcano behind those clouds right behind there all the way up I haven't seen the top of it yet since we got here hoping to today Well, before I forget, we're in La Fortuna, La Fortuna, Costa Rica right now. If you've missed the past few videos, I'm here with my daughter on a uh, Costa Rican Spanish field trip for school. We're going to go take the camera around a little bit and, uh, well, I'm just getting wore out. A lot of running, a lot of bus time. I'm hoping today, not that much bus time. Can you see the green light on it? All right, everybody, take a look because we need to move because we're blocking. But take a look where the green dot is. That is the slot. Callie, he's right up here. You wait for the light. See the light? The baby. The green light. Sloths. That's what those were. Little balls of fur up in the tree. Those were sloths. They're pretty cool. Here's another one. No, that's the same one. Pretty neat. They are not monkeys. They are not raccoons. They are coatis. Coatis. Where's the babies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the left. Seven on the left. Oh, Look at that one, one. crashing. Say, oh, there's one right here. Oh, oh. Look at the little... young ones playing over there on the left. Oh my god. Taking a nap. Oh, oh. What the heck do they eat? What do they eat? But they they bugs? eat anything they can eat. Oh, anything. Now, we're going to say Fernando and Jose that we don't have so many people here. I just walked down 525 steps, 29 steps for that. Kids are going to go swimming. I'm going to start heading back up because by the time they get done swimming, I probably still won't even be at the top. Neat. In case you didn't believe that I actually did it, well, you had to believe because you've seen a video of the waterfall. 529 steps straight up. Let's go play. I keep asking myself, why am I panting so hard? I had twice this when we were in Utah. Humidity. That's a good kid right there. That is the Spanish teacher's son, Andrew. <laughs> he gets to the stairs, gets to the top right here, and he goes, How you doing, Trent? I go, Hey, I'm doing dandy, buddy. You wouldn't happen to have a defibrillator on you, would you? He said, No, no, I don't. Paige and everyone swimming down there. I guess I do have a couple parents behind me that decided to start the trek a little earlier because it's going to take us a little bit of time. This was a mistake. All mistakes, though, can have happy endings. We'll get to the top. I can say I did it. Five hundred steps. Five hundred. Gracias.
You ever been at the point where your feet, your legs are completely jello, like jello? Then you try going downhill after coming uphill. <laughs> Ouch. There. I don't see people there. My bus was that way. I'm trying to run from people. My place to hide. You see these bikes and they're just tiny little things. They're not like the big Harleys back home. They're most of them other than like the BMW is still carbureted. But yet they run those things like they're just tanks. Here, there, everywhere. They got them all customized up, which is really cool. I like the whole no fender enduro look going on right there with that one. I don't know if there is Harleys down here. And the thing is, you can actually drive from where I'm at right here to home. I could drive home. Google Maps says it take three days and I can't remember the amount of miles it was. It'd be kind of cool to ride a Harley down here. On a positive note, get off the motorcycles and onto the cars. This would be my area. You know how when I'm on vacation on the motorcycle or even on uh, in my dually or Sarah's Jeep, I'm always shining them up, I'm always cleaning them. This guy's down here. Costa Rica they keep things tight and shiny or walk through the parking lot every vehicle is shiny you drive past houses they're outside wiping their cars down you come out to the parking lot the tour companies are wiping their vehicles down they're just clean very very clean that's why in a past video I was asking I wonder why everything is fenced in and you know barricaded in I think it's just the way it is I don't think it's because of a crime problem I think it's because it's the way it's been for years we're gonna uh, actually we're not gonna going straight to drop you off Sorry, uh, this is taking longer, but uh, Fernando, very kind, is taking us down here to uh, to show, uh, to let us uh, see a little bit more places where you can eat. I'm gonna show you some of the most traditional up to the uh, upgraded ones. We're gonna eat lunch here and then we're gonna go back to the hotel and uh, just chill. The kids are gonna chill and run around there and uh, I, would, I wouldn't mind it at all. So that's what we're going to do. And we're not too far from here. We're only maybe two or three kilometers or miles. I've never been able to differentiate the two. It's about like Celsius and Fahrenheit. I always screw up with those as well. Come on, up the damn tater. Paige, let me see your ice cream. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Uh, well, these volcano is speaking many movies. Will Smith. You guys see me keep trying to get angles. You can actually see it. 
if we get back to the hotel in time or get the good camera out but apparently you can see the crater of it itself from this side a lot better than the hotel side if you look zoom in on it you guys can zoom more than this right now as you're watching this and you guys can see that crater up there right now everybody's over there at the uh, grocery store getting some stuff and then we're gonna meet back at uh, 4 o'clock at the bus and go back to the hotel I literally just pushed stop and a Harley Davidson went by earlier we were talking if there was any Harley Davidson's here and one just went by and I just pushed stop as I had it on camera Dang it. I am failing at recording things for you. That was just a cattle truck that went by. Oh, mercy. Failing. Pineapples. All right. What because we're like pineapples? Lizzie wants, because she's going to eat a whole pineapple and, 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 and then we, and then this go. is for like the rest of us. Somebody has a knife. Make sure it's the angle. Don't make sure make me turn this bus around. No. <laughs> Drive it. Don't worry, we'll get all the instructions about what to do and what not to do before getting on the zip line. So hopefully we'll take a couple of hours depending on how each of us do. It's one person at a time on the zip line. There will be a guy hooking you on the cable, sending you, and there will be another guy so the plan now is uh, set around we've been sitting around for a little bit kids are all down at the pool with chaperones this chaperone is wore out and sitting around for a little bit and another chaperone my roommate is in there chilling out it was a fun day wore out day probably made a little bit of a mistake doing that hike but now that it's done, I think I did okay. I think I did all right. Tomorrow they go zip lining. Not too sure if I'm gonna even attempt that or if I should attempt that. You have to wait and see in the next video. I wanna thank you guys for watching these videos. I truly appreciate it. If you do, throw a like down there. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just a little reminder, after we get back from the Costa Rica trip, we will be um, in the semi truck again, okay? You guys stay safe, as always, I'll see you next time. I would like to introduce everyone to my little friend. How you doing up there? I'm going to name you Roberto. Roberto's cool. Just sitting out here, chilling. And Roberto's keeping me company. He's kind of quiet. But, uh... We don't speak the same language, so we're having to translate a little bit between each other. Roberto, that fits you. You're you're super cool, man. Keep getting those bugs for me. I don't like bugs. Roberto. That little thing is loud. Seriously, he just goes duk, 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 like a turkey. Roberto, you have an amazing voice and amazing colors. You guys can't see it on the camera, but it, he's got like snake-like color, colors down his back. I better go tell my roommate about him. He's getting sassy.